Hey, it's Patrick from Fit3D. Uh, in the spirit of Halloween, I'm gonna get in my Mr. Incredible muscle suit, do a 3D body scan, and we're gonna talk to you about how changing your overall volume uh, affects the lean mass and fat mass of your scans. So let's give it a try. So here's the before and after scans. You can see all my muscles. Um, and if you go down here, you see that the weight between these two scans are, are basically unchanged. Um, but it thinks that I have gained a lot of fat and lost a lot of muscle because um, muscle weighs more than fat and my volume changed where my weight did not. Um, interesting point here, some 3D scanners don't have an integrated scale. And this is one of the reasons why having a scale as part of this calculation is very important. The other thing I want to show you is that if you go to my earlier scan, I did two scans in my Mr. Incredible outfit. Um, they're going to hang a little differently on my body, so the volume is going to change a little bit. But in terms of precision and consistent results, you see that the body fat percentage is basically the same. It's off by like 0.7. Um, and the, the weight is very similar, and the fat mass and lean mass are very similar as well. Um, so considering the clothing moved, this is just an example of how consistent our scanner is and um, how you should be thinking about all three of these metrics at once. Thank you.